Something else that is on my mind, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is the fact that um, Chicago Bear fans really need to grow up. Okay. So I've been watching the Chicago Bears on and off for 18 years. The first year I watched them was 2006 when I went to the Super Bowl. And I'm thinking, oh, I heard about the 85 Bears growing up. This is going to be my team every year. Mm-hmm. Uh, not at all. Enough of that creepy music. Well, I'm telling you right now, I've been watching them for 18 years, and it's rinse and repeat. They get a new cornerback. They get a new GM. They draft players. They get a new coach. And it's gone through Kyle Orton. It's gone through Jay Culler. It's gone through Mitchell Trubisky. It's gone through Justin Fields. And they've gone through so many coaches. John Fox, um, the weird guy that was from Canada. They've gone through so many coaches. But it's never the owner's fault. And it drives me absolutely positively nuts that the McCaskey family, everybody talks about Jerry Jones or the Haslam's in Cleveland. No one ever talks about how awful the McCaskies are. And whenever I watch the Bears, I'll watch them during prime time. I always get really mad. I'm starting to become more of a Bucks fan because Bucks fans are a little more realistic. I made this post. I think it's safe to say that the Chicago Bears will never be good ever again. The hashtag McCaskey family does not get enough heat for ruining this franchise. And oh my goodness, did I trigger the Chicago sports fans. Mm-hmm. First comment from this guy named Jeff Wright, who I went to a radio school with. Let's not go there. Time and patience are still needed. It's only Caleb's second game. Bro, he hasn't thrown a touchdown. He looks terrible, and the defense is leading him. I responded, I hope so. I rage posted this, but I still agree with it. I don't think he is going to be good. It just doesn't feel right. And then this guy named uh, Rick Moore, who works at a warehouse, and he's friends with all these Chicago sports riders. Pump the brakes. Rookie QB, game two. It's going to take a minute, but it'll be okay. I said the same was said for Kyle Orton, Color, Trubisky, and Fields, and he responds with a bunch of sports mumbo-jumbo. Everybody was freaking out on this post, and I go, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to end up being right. It happens every single time. The Chicago Bears fans just want the team to be good. That's all they want. But it's never going to be good, ever. If I'm wrong... I'll be so happy, but it's just the energy I feel. And when you live in Chicago and there's really nothing to do on a Sunday, that's what you live for. And it's an abusive relationship, being a Bears fan. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Bucks fans go, oh, we had a lot of hard times. You also won two Super Bowls in this millennium. The Bears haven't won in 40 years and barely make the playoffs whenever. But I'm the bad guy for speaking the truth that nobody wants to hear. Ridiculous. It gets so bad that sometimes I see people miss Jay Cudler, and I go, are you out of your mind? Are you losing it? Are you guys that crazy? Mm Mm-hmm. Happy hour. Happy hour.